like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Under the Fair Use Doctrine of the US Copyright Statute, it is permissible to use limited portions of a work including quotes for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting and scholarly reports. There are no legal rules permitting the use of a specific number of words. A certain number of musical notes or percentage of a work. Okay guys, a lot of you have asked me to share some of the interview that Solar recently did with another channel holder here on YouTube. I do have some snippets and based on fair use, I am utilizing the following clips and will be doing my commentary and providing my criticism as it relates to Solar, AKA Courtney, AKA Sir Capalot. So guys, please be sure to enjoy. Here we go. I'm vanilla baby. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer baby. Me and Janae, we fight too damn much. We can't even communicate. That's the reality. I'd be really forced in that relationship. I'd have to see something different to have to, to want to ever pursue that again. Mm -hmm. I'm at a point to where I'm doing something and this is getting Y'all, what exactly is Solar, aka Courtney, aka Sir Capalot doing? Can anybody tell me? Put it in the comments, y'all. I need to know. I'm at a point to where I'm doing something and this is getting in the way. So like if you did child support, that's probably less than what I'd be trying to give you. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but how is it going to be more than what she'd get from child support if he hasn't given Janae any money for his child for the past two months? And according to him, it has been a couple of months since he's done anything for his child with Velvet. So how is it more than what they would get from child support if he's doing absolutely nothing right now? Y'all, make, please, make me understand this, please. Thank you. And ladies, if you know like I know, y'all better be on the first thing smoking down to that child support office. New year, new child support order. Like when Velvet was pregnant, it was a complete surprise. When Janae was pregnant, it was a complete surprise. And when we chose, when I, me getting with Velvet after Janae was completely not connected. It was completely unique. We was with Janae before. Um, Janae has been polygamous with Velvet before. Mm -hmm. And I, just, me and Velvet, I've never had a poly situation at all. But she has broke up with me and went into other relationships immediately afterwards and then came back. Hold on, y'all. Did I miss something? He just said that Velvet and Janae were in a polygamous relationship in the past together. Like, what is he talking about when... Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Papa John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation, and Velvet were talking to Janae about joining their relationship. Is that what he's referring to, y'all? Because I don't recall her actually going to be with Velvet and uh, Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Papa John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation. Are there any historians on carbonation in the room right now at this premiere? Or are there any historians on the replay gang that can tell me if Janae did indeed join Velvet and Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy? Y'all know the rest. I ain't saying his full name again. But y'all know what I'm, who I'm talking about. Did she join their relationship? They actually, they all love me. It's just when can we be mature and when can we have these higher level conversations? That's where I'm at. And those are the people who I'm talking to today. Under the Fair Use Doctrine of the US Copyright Statute, it is permissible to use limited portions of a work, including quotes, for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting and scholarly reports. All right, y'all, let's get on to the next clip. 
this video is comprised of selected clips that I selected myself that I wanted to do my commentary and provide my criticism regarding Solar, aka Courtney, aka Sir Capalot. So let's get back into the clips, guys. Just last night, she did a video striking justice to, to Janae. Janae Hi. needs to go watch it. And if you guys haven't watched it, go watch Jaguar Wright's video. I believe it's on her YouTube page. She just posted last night. She me a clip when she came over of her talking about it. Now, why would Jaguar Wright need to do a video striking justice to Janae? She don't even know the girl. And Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capalot, it's not a good look to have your friends and or your family talking negatively or striking justice to your baby mother on Beyonce's internet. Like, what are you doing? They see it for what it is. I don't feel bad. I feel very good. I'm continuing to do what I got to do for them. I care about my daughter. I want them to have them money sent to them as well. You know, which is why I'm doing it, doing what I'm doing, um, and why I'm working, um, and why I'm working so very hard. Mm -hmm. um, I ain't even finna hold y'all, but what? There goes that word again. He keeps on using the word work. Does Solar, aka Courtney, aka Sir Capalot, really know what the word work means? I don't think so, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> now he need his woman to just trust him and communicate with him because he has angel investors. Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capalot, if you don't take several seats and find yourself in front of that expensive computer that you say you own and fill out you some job applications, I'ma know something, sir. And you want to get the jobs and have this single mother persona. Oh, yeah. woe is me. I'm working the two jobs. I'm struggling while he's still sending me money while I'm fucking off on costumes. Y'all know who he talking about, right? He talking about Janae. He said that she would rather have two jobs and play the role of the struggling single mama, single mama persona while she's effing off in costumes. Yo, this dude right here. Asking for my child to have a passport so that she can, we can live out our dreams of living in the tropics as we always talk about. The reason why we always want to have the children in Mexico, there was a reason for that. We weren't crazy. It's because we wanted to have dual citizenship easy so that we can buy land out there and start to cultivate uh, mm -hmm. things on that level down the line. That's why I've always promoted that and always try to do that with them. I have those connections. Okay, y'all, so next up, I'm going to insert a clip of what Jaguar Wright had to say to Janae during this interview. Here we go. And before I move on, guys, let me just say fair use. This is for commentary and criticism as well as reporting. All right, let's get into it. And just for everybody, it's a grown-ass man. Thank you. He can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. Mm -hmm. I have no um, dictatorship or say yeah. of what he chooses to do. But I'm going to say this. If you're looking for a viral moment, I might not be your cup of tea. There's a motherfucking price that comes along with using my name. Don't make me make you pay it. You wanted this nigga spur. You got it. You vie for it, number two. Now, understand this. If you really love your child, stop talking down on her father. It's bad for business. You trying to make him look like some scumbag loser makes it hard for him to build his brand without unnecessary scrutiny. You fucking up the church's money. Breach. 
if you really want him to give you money, bitch, stop getting in the way of the bag. You fucking goofball. On Christmas. Oh. Fucking celebrate the shit. Be real. What you want a wish list? I got a wish. I wish you keep my motherfucking name out your goddamn mouth. Put the baby on your titty. Make a pie. Do some fucking macrame. I don't fucking know. Stop talking down on the father of your child. You wanted sperm? You got it. You got it. Go get it, bitch. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Nephew. so instead of holding Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capalot, accountable, Jaguar would rather get on Beyonce's internet, yell and scream about Janae being second. Second to what? She's the mother of his child, <laughs> okay? And then she's, like, calling her all types of B words? Like, what is going on? What is, what kind? This is so ghetto, y'all. This is ghetto. It doesn't make any sense. And I mean, I can't get mad at her because you're talking about her now. I never told Janae to go talking about Jag. I never tell her to do that. I don't know where that came from. I don't know why she's doing that. Yeah, that's why it's only Yeah, that's why it's only reason she did she was doing that because Janae's talking about her. Well, and no one told you to do that. I mean, like I said, it's different if you call me and you ask me and you communicate with me like you can do and be like, hey, what's the... Well, Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capilot, just a word to the wise. Having your friends go on Beyonce's internet and trashing the mother of your child, it doesn't actually promote nor does it foster... A environment of communication, sir. It just doesn't. You communicate with me like you can do and be like, hey, what's the deal with this person? Before I go out here and start making public accusations and, and uh, internet baby mama drama. Internet baby mama drama. And knowing exactly what she's doing. It ain't about no money. It's about trying to make my life a problem for whatever reason. As, I don't know. Ask her. Y'all gotta you know, since he's been in jail, I had spoke to him. Last time I spoke to him, I told him, you know, I don't have time to talk to him anymore because various reasons, one main reason. But um, dealing with Eligio, you know, he came to the terms. Dealing with Eligio, you know, he came to the terms to where, you know, he accepted he was indeed learning everything that he was learning from me after a certain point, a certain threshold. He was asking to be my student, you know, I was telling him I can't do that. He was asking to be my student. No, he was asking to be my student. No, I was telling him I can't do that. You know, I've already spent enough time. You know, I asked him a question to see if he understood why he was in jail. Maybe see, maybe his, if his heart really is in a good place as he's saying this. And you know, I just asked him, "Why are you in jail?" And I'm like, any reasons beyond you know, you know, even what you got convicted for. Anything, yeah. anything you can think of spiritually. And he's just like, yeah, man, I know what it is. It's because I gave too much. And I was like, wow, bro. Like, I, and I was like, wow, bro. Like, I gotta go. I'm giving too much. No, I see. I'm giving too much. And I had to leave. Um, I, I didn't let him know. I, I'm done. You know, I didn't give you no time. Hey, what's up, Jag? Hey, Auntie. Welcome in. Please. Under the fair use doctrine of the US copyright statute, it is permissible to use limited portions of a work, including quotes for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, and scholarly reports. Yeah. But yeah, that's what happened. So, I mean, that's the last time I spoke to him. Well, 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 hold on, did he ask you to be his student? or, or yeah. He... yeah, because he I kept to standing on the... He wanted you to be yeah. his student. Yes, because I kept standing on the point that... ...abusing the vortex mathematics that I, I've always taught. You know, that he just decided to pick up and trend towards the end of, of something that was, you know, very helpful. And it's now I predicate everything I, I do on what he, he couldn't grasp. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but do y'all hear this sugar honey iced tea that Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capilot is saying right now? He's saying that he was teaching Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, 
aka Chief Papa John Hot Pocket, aka Chief Administrative Segregation. Y'all, I'm unalived right now. That that just took me out. That took me straight out when I heard it. You know, and he can call for claim three God all he wants because it's not he doesn't understand anything about it. And I was as I was teaching him, he was you know, he was he was learning it very fast. It was good. You know, but I don't have time for that because he has other other issues. Those are not his worries of what knowledge and information is available. He needs to be worried about some other things right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to save everybody. I'm a healer's respite. I'm not here to even convince or collect people. Yeah. I'm here for people who already understand me and who already oh. care to elevate to the higher echelon. Yeah. To the higher echelon. Yeah. That's what I'm here. I'm a shaman. I've already. That's what I'm here. I'm a shaman. I. That's what I'm here. I'm a shaman. We bridge the gap. It's. I'm here for people who try to who try to transit. That's it. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but I'ma have Sari look up. The meaning of a shaman and let's see if solar aka courtney aka sir capilot fits that bill a shaman is a practitioner of shamanism a religious practice that involves interacting with a spirit world through altered states of consciousness such as trance the only part of this job description that i believe that solar aka courtney aka sir capilot fits is the trance part because he is definitely delusional if he thinks that I believe that he can reach out to the spirit realm and all this other sugar. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? What is going on? Anyway, y'all, it gets even better. Here's Jaguar Wright's theory on why Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capilot, was at carbonation for as long as he was. Listen very closely, guys. If Sova had not been so strategically placed in a position of influence with Elysio, mm -hmm. things would have gone a lot worse a lot faster. See, people keep thinking that nephew stayed because he enjoyed it. No, he stayed to make sure that they didn't go over the cliff. He took on the responsibility of being the spiritual beacon mm. because Elysio had gone so dark. There was a battle. And there was a duel. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Dark. There was a battle. And there was a duality. A paradigm which nobody could understand unless they were there. But I will say this. It's the women who bore Legio's fruit. That are allegedly the most guilty of all. Hold up. Wait a minute. What she just said, even actually the women who bore Eligio's fruit are even more guilty. Is she talking about Velvet, y'all? Because Velvet is the woman who bore his fruit. And that would be Eliana. So, like, is that what she talking about? Like, what is this? Is so ghetto, y'all. The most guilty of all. Whatever Janae and Solar had, it will never be what Solar and Velvet had because their connection is divine. And yeah, no sugar, honey, iced tea, Sherlock. Of course, the connection that Janae has with Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capilot, is going to be different from the connection that he has with Velvet. They're two different people. So that's a given. I'm not really sure what 
this is about, but this is just, I'm going to say it one more time, y'all. Get and tell. This is ghetto. What Solar and Velvet has, because their connection is divine and it's ordained. Now, in, in this story, in this story, Solar is not the bad guy. He might very well be the only voice of reason that was left at the end when everybody was trying to go over a cliff. It was the end of my journey there. I was doing those arguments with him. They know that. I mean, if I've spoken anyway, please correct it now. No, that's actually, I, I don't look at things. I always take accountability to the point to where I forget to take it. He, he takes accountability, y'all? Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my God, stop fucking lying. Accountability to the point to where I forget to take his minds and what he was trying to do. I was a consistent buffer of, of their of sanity. I was I was sanctuary. To, I, was, I was sanctuary to them. They would spend every hour, every minute, every second with me. I we did realize that, but I'm just the leader of the of the, of the community. The universe made it to where, you know, I ended up actually becoming the CEO, and he ended up just trying to make his name into that, and it what he ended up doing with that name. The, the women, now the women, the people, everybody throw away everything that we ever stood on, and I'm the only person who I feel like stands on the stuff still. What I'm focused on, what I'm doing today, is very successful, and all of this stuff really is behind me and, and to the degree to where i'll come back to it to create clarity for reputation and just to talk about it because i feel like i need to stand up for myself no one's standing up for me except for jag I'm people in here i don't even stand up for myself as that much so i like to come on here and clarify these things i like it it, it is what it is they gotta live with the truth and that's yeah. what i'm gonna come on here and do when people are here. under the fair use doctrine of the u.s copyright statute it is permissible to use limited portions of a work including quotes for purposes such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, and scholarly reports. I stand up for my value more than me. So I want to ask one more question. This would be like a social media type question. And then I want to move off into Jack and her ex-husband, Goomba, if that's okay. Um, so the question I want to ask you really quick is, um, there's a social media person. Uh, I think his channel is World News. Um, they say Talking he pulled World. Yeah, <laughs> they said that he pulled up on all of you guys before, and you were the one who had to come out and I guess fight him off or run him off, or you was the only one who nutted up to him. So, is this somebody who you do you not get along with this person? Have y'all made up? Or do y'all still have beef? Is there an issue? Fuck I know he still world. Like Fuck world, get an attorney. I wouldn't use the words pulled up. I would use the words um, coordinated a visit. And, and then when he got there, he wouldn't get out the car. He was recording from the window in the car. We had to let him know it was okay. It was safe. He got out and he was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually meeting you guys. It's, it's nice to see you guys. It's nice to meet you. Mm. He came out. We did the, the casual shake. Like, all right, cool. Did a little testing. All right, man. Nice to meet you too. All right, cool. All right. Peace. Peace. All right, y'all, go on ahead and drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Thank you guys in advance. That's all that that's was. It. It, that's it. And that was the energy that matched, okay. yeah. There was zero hostility. It was just like, oh, hey, uh, it was like okay. a fan. It was like meeting a fan, and then it's like, oh, shit, this is real. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Cool. Okay, there was cool. nothing, no shit talking. All that happened, like, late, way later. And then okay, if he ever no. calls, if he calls me today, like, if he used to call my phone right now, he's like, mm -hmm. hey, so what's going on, man? Man, what? Why you stop answering, man? You don't only get like this because you don't answer because you don't answer my calls, man. You know I'm just trying to be friends, and and he'll do that from an honest place, but you know he's yeah. playing with it too, like it's still a game. He's just like a big yeah. kid. We still okay. talking about the cuckoo. Interested in a great read? Check out Greatness is a habit authored by Aaron Dixon, also known as True. Many of you know him as True. He has authored this amazing read. The book is available on Apple Books. Get your copy today and stay motivated to win. We still okay. talking about the cuckoo. 
No, the cuckoo's different. He's he's uh, he's desperate. I think he's just a toxic character. I don't have much to say about him. My opinions about him are different because he doesn't have to do what he's doing. Okay, guys. So those were the clips that I wanted to provide my commentary as well as criticism to under the Fair Use Act. Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. I want to give a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies, y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself, we in the building with it. Yo, what up replay gang? Replay gang gang. Y'all know I rocks with the replay gang gang. Y'all already know what to do. Bush babies, how y'all feeling? How y'all doing today? I hope you make the decision that you have been struggling with for no reason to go on ahead and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to set your notifications to all so that you're notified when I go live or when I add new content. All right, y'all. Until next time. I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. She 28, telling me I'm still a baby. I get love in Detroit like Skiller, baby. And the thing about your boy is, I don't like no whips and chains, and you can't tie me down. But you can whip your loving on me. That's right, that's right. Whip your loving on me. Young J A C K A K A Rico like Suave, Young Enrique speaking at A K A. She's an alpha, but not around your boy. She get quiet around your boy. Hold on, don't know what you heard or what you thought about your boy, but they lied about your boy. Going dumb and it's some idiotic about your boy. She wearing cheetah print. That's how bad she won't be spotted around your boy. I don't like no whips and chains, and you can't tie me down, but you can whip your loving on me, baby. Whip your loving on me. I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. She 28, telling me I'm still a baby. I get love in Detroit like Skiller, baby. And the thing about your boy is, I don't like no whips and chains, and you can't tie me down. But you can whip your loving on me, baby. Whip your loving on me. Now, I intentionally left this part extended out because. Sometimes when the video ends, y'all still be going at it in the comments. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of conversation to be had about what Solar, a.k.a. Courtney, a.k.a. Sir Capilot, had to say. Guys, please weigh in. What do you think of what he said? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. All right.